Alright, I was told that the song Mr. Trump shit Mr. Uh, Chuck him out ENT, Mr. Break shit down I do them both, I'm both, I'm the same person I was told this song is racist It was The video was shot where some um, Something happened Where like Somebody got killed, a black dude got killed For some racist bullshit basically I don't know exactly, I don't want to tell the story wrong I just know that the site in the where the video was shot, they said some racist shit happened. And they said the whole shit racist, so they asked me to break it down. So I'm finna check it out and tell y'all what I think about it. Here we go. Symbolism. You show a flag in the middle of a building that's kind of like a courthouse, a white house. I don't know what it was, but the way that them flags were just shown is like around with the fire around the flag. It's like you're burning the flag. I don't take that as racism, but I see how like Americans feel like if you burn the flag, you you against the country. But after that scene, I seen them horses in the back with the police on them. And it's crazy how, like, to y'all that might not mean nothing. Because if it's crowded at the mall, they bring horses to the mall to direct traffic. But, however, to a black man, them horses symbolize the clan used to chase people on horses. Like, when they line up in formation like that, officers on horses, we know that the, 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 the clan then is the officers now. Like, their grandparents and ancestors we're the, we aware of that so that's what makes that so offensive already so it's just like okay it's the energy it's the vibe it ain't really I'm burning shit I'm at a fucked up location so yeah it's not paying a good vibe already no he said he's not racist I just heard him say Pull a gun on a lady at a liquor store, carjack, or pull a, rob the liquor store, carjack somebody, and something else, which are crimes that take place in the hood. You can't just say only black people do these crimes, but the perception and the stereotype says if you go to the hood, you're going to live around all these black criminals, and these are the crimes that they're going to do. So, how many white boys? is doing this shit. You're white. I can't go around talking about I'm a I can't put on that cowboy hat and say I'm I'm a cowboy and I'm a a snowboarder, skier, surfer, like anything that I, that that that's known with y'all culture that I don't do. If I go doing that it's gonna look like I'm making fun of y'all. I'm aware of that. And as an artist, you gotta be politically correct to be aware of people gonna view shit in different ways. So it's on you to care if you offend somebody or not to give a fuck who you offend. So clearly you must don't give a fuck. Now spinning a cop face and stepping on a flag, that's not racist. That's just like a... A outlaw, like fuck the country, fuck the laws, fuck the police. That just apply like some outlaw shit. Try that. Try that in a small town. Try that around. Cross that line. We take care of our own. Or some shit. So, take care of our own is what, like, now that's racist because if you date somebody that's white or Mexican or not your same color, Chinese, and they tell you, they can't just tell you, my family racist. So they don't like black people. What they're going to tell you is, we stand to stick to our own. We stay to our own. We take care of our own. Them the words they use. So we aware of that again. So it's like, you can't just say a small town. Crime don't happen in small towns. and You can't even 
crime only happen in big cities. But the town's so small, we know everybody, so we're not going to let it happen. That's not how it go. I've been in small towns and big towns. Crime happened everywhere, and nobody, you could call the police. That's all you could do. Do nothing and come stop you. Talking about some weed or community. We all know her. You can't carjack this car. You can't rob this store. It's not happening like that. So it don't make sense. <laughs> Song wise, you know, it's categories to making a song like beat, riding the beat, song selection, type of song, feel. I feel like I'm not into rock and roll or soft rock. I don't even know the label or genre of this shit. But however, based on the songs I hear on the radio, this sound like a good melody, good beat, put together song that I could see people vibing with off just the sound of the, the melodies and how it's sung. But the words and the images I see what the uproar is about it could have been a publicity just to make it get some attention I don't you gotta know somebody's background and really be like he did racist shit so he racist cause songs could be taken in so many ways and it's reasons people do different shit for different reasons you only do the same type of songs all the time you only gonna get the same results so you gotta expand to get different crowds attention and to get different money and different shows and shit like that so, you got to keep all this shit in mind. You can't just say you hear a song and think, oh, somebody racist because he made a song that's not directly saying racist shit. It's a lot of underlying technical shit being said that's, like, indirect. So, that's what make it so debatable. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. Y'all see any more content y'all want me to break down? Let me know. Mr. Chalk, come out ENT. I mean, Mr. Break Shit Down, Chalk, come out ENT. I need to think of a slogan that's going to connect them both because I'm just on the internet. All you niggas on here don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, so I'm going to tell y'all how it's supposed to be told.